table tennis champion, Melissa Taffer. At 18, she was the number one junior female table tennis player in Australia. From juniors, I always played able body and I was six time national champion in juniors and no, like when I first moved over to the para competition, everyone was like, oh, can you play Paralympics, can you? Because as growing up, no one looked at me that way and I never thought of myself like, you know, anything wrong. Melissa was born with nerve damage in her right arm, which means the arm hasn't developed as well as the left one. She says she's never thought of herself as being disabled because she's played against able-bodied athletes for many years. But the idea of playing Paralympic table tennis came up, so she thought she'd give it a crack. Now, Melissa could get the chance to compete in the Paralympic Games in London. So I, was, I was always sports orientated, but especially with table tennis, I wouldn't have thought that, you know, I could travel overseas with it. But playing any sport at a professional level means a lot of hard work and dedication. Melissa trains six days a week and her coach says she's an inspiration to kids. From a young age, you look at things like, you know, enthusiasm and you're looking at skill. Uh, as, a, as an athlete gets older, you start to look at other things, other attributes that are going to make you a champion or not. Um, you know, determination, uh, willingness to, to do it over a long period, uh, hard work ethic. Table tennis is thought to have been around for more than a hundred years. It's said to have started in England in the 1880s and its popularity quickly spread throughout the world. Back then, it was known as Wiff Waff, then later Ping Pong. But it's come a long way since then. The tables, for example, are a lot more modern. They're usually made from chipboard and can cost anywhere between $50 to thousands of dollars for a professional table. Books have been replaced with a bat. A bat has a black and red side, each with a different type of rubber, so players can choose which side to use depending on their hit. And the balls have become a lot lighter, making them easier to hit and bounce. If you've never played table tennis before, the rules are pretty simple. A match can be played with two or four players. In a singles match, it's the best three out of five games. And for each game, the first player to reach 11 points wins. Melissa won't find out for sure if she's made the Paralympic team until June, when the team is announced. But many people are confident she has the talent to succeed. Um, she's got the class, she's got the skills, she's got the training. So in the meantime, she's training hard in preparation.